Hello guy, welcome to my channel. Today we will unbox and review the Finercy DMT-99 multimeter. It is intended for daily assembly and maintenance of wearable devices in the future. Let's take a look at the unboxing. Tear off the film first. The outer packaging box looks very delicate. Let's open the box. Inside we have a multi-language instruction manual, which is quite detailed. The product quality certificate. The main device, DMT-99 multimeter. Let's take it out and have a look. Uh, the workmanship is very delicate. The size is just right to hold in the hand. Take a look at the back. There is a bracket on the back, which can be placed on the table for support. Let's check the accessories in the second layer. A pair of test probes with a special type of pen tip. I'm not sure if you like this type. A charging USB type C cable. Now let's turn it on and have a look. Select language as per your choice. Okay, the screen looks very clear. Take out the charging cable and let's charge this multimeter first. I will share my overall experience of using this multimeter and how to use it in the daily assembly and maintenance of drones. This is a smart digital multimeter with 10,000 counts, meaning it has a wider measurement range. The display screen is a 240 by 320 resolution 2.4 inch full color TFT display, which looks clearer. There are five function buttons below the screen. It replaces the traditional multimeter used before, eliminating the cumbersome gear switching knob and the choice of measurement range. This multimeter is very convenient to use. Below the buttons are four test lead jacks. The black one is inserted into the black end of the test lead. The blue one is selected according to the measurement function. To measure large current, choose the dark one. To measure small current, choose the other one. The rest are inserted into the hole in the upper right corner. There is a folding stand on the back of the multimeter, making it convenient to use after opening. The two blue positions are the back clips used to fix the test leads. When storing, we fix the test leads like this. It is still very convenient. There is also a gourd nail hole here, which is also very convenient for daily use. This multimeter has a built-in 1500 mAh battery. The Type-C charging port is located at the top and supports 5 volt 1 ampere charging. The package also comes with a C port charging cable by default. Let's turn it on now. The startup speed is relatively fast. The default is automatic gear. In this gear, the voltage, resistance, and continuity can be automatically identified. Several main functions of our charger for daily use can be completed in this gear. The most commonly used is the continuity function. After the electronics device has just been installed or repaired, we check whether there is a short circuit in the soldering. If the wind chimes, it means that there is a short circuit in the device. You need to troubleshoot and find out the problem before plugging in the battery for testing. Otherwise, directly plugging in the battery may cause smoke and a short circuit, which is not worth the loss. If you want to ensure there is no problem with our installation, you can continue. Under normal circumstances, we want to know the power status of the electronics device battery. We need to use a tester to plug in the balance head for measurement. If there are many batteries, when batch inspection is required, I think it will be faster to use a multimeter. In automatic mode, place the red positive lead and the black negative lead on the battery. You can use the multimeter to measure the voltage. If the voltage displayed by the multimeter is negative, it means that the meter is reversed. Use this function to distinguish the positive and negative poles of the battery. Additionally, the other functions of the multimeter need to be switched manually. It is also very simple. Press the right button to switch to DC voltage, AC voltage, capacitance, diode, and continuity functions. The button on the left is for direct current, small current, and large current gear switch. This button is for temperature, NCV, and live. NCV is non-contact voltage detection. It measures the AC electromagnetic field. Move the detection area on the top of the multimeter close to the position you want to measure. If there is AC, the stronger the magnetic field, the louder the beeping sound, and the redder the color. This function is quite interesting. Another live function is the meter AC voltage detection function to make a neutral and live wire judgment. The specific usage method is to unplug the black meter, leaving only the red meter. Put the meter in contact with the plug, and this icon appears with a beeping sound, indicating the live wire. If there is no sound, and this sign, it is the neutral wire or ground wire. The key above is the data hold and relative value measurement switch key. 
The key in the middle when short pressed enters automatic mode. Long press it to enter the menu key mode selection. In addition to the default normal mode, you can switch to recording mode. Let's take a look. In this mode, the usage is the same as in normal mode. In terms of display, it adds a real-time measurement curve, showing the minimum and maximum values during measurement. For me, the most practical scenario is to check the battery power in batches and measure the voltage. Short press the middle button to save the measured data. It is convenient for me to check the battery power one by one. I think it is very practical. Another mode is the monitoring mode. This mode needs to be used with the second menu item, preset setting. The system menu also has historical records, making it convenient to view previous measurement results. In system settings, you can switch from theme one to theme two. This changes the color to yellow and increases the font size. You can also restore factory settings. Under the menu option, these four keys are up, down, left, and right arrow keys, with the middle being the confirmation button. Press and hold the middle button to exit the menu option. Let me talk about the included test pen set. The default pen tip is this special type, which is convenient for detecting small solder joints on electronic devices. I still liked to use it very much. The multimeter I used before had this special tip pen, which I bought separately. I don't know if you like to use it in daily life. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. Additionally, this multimeter has full speed overload protection, a built-in intelligent anti-burn chip, and dual ceramic fuses, making it safer to use. This is my overall experience with the Feneris DMT-99 in my usage scenario. Not only is the price preferential, but package will also include the temperature probe of the multimeter. The price performance ratio is really good. Friends who need it can check it out. You can find the link in description below. If you have other questions, feel free to leave a message in the comment section. See you next time. If you really enjoyed this video, then subscribe my YouTube channel and like the video.